Currently, the Indian women's cricket team don't have a head coach at the helm. The Indian batting coach Rishikesh Kanitkar is kind of filling that role. They don't have a bowling coach either. In 2017, former Indian skipper Purnima Rao was the last female coach of this team, and since then, we have seen a musical chair played among Tushar Arote, W. V. Raman, and Ramesh Pawar. But there's a former Indian female cricketer. whose juggernaut of winning tournaments keeps rolling from the domestics to the under 19s as a disclaimer this is not an advocacy for anybody but trying to bring a story of an amazing female coach to you and i will be bringing many more such stories in the coming days hello friends you are watching mind game with ritvika and today In this video I am going to unfold coach Nushi Nalkhadir's incredible coaching journey and her unparalleled success along the way. But first, let's briefly have a look at her international career that started in 2002. She became the number 1 ranked bowler in the world in 2003 as the leading wicket taker and she is still the third highest wicket taker for India in the ODIs with 100 wickets to her name. just after jhulan goswami and neetu david she is also the third indian player only to take 100 wickets in women's odis being a very economical bowler she played an integral role in india's success in reaching the 2005 world cup final with an economy of just 3.05 arguably one of the best top spinners india has ever produced On 16th March 2012 in the third and last ODI of the series against Australia Nushin decided to hang up her boots she was one wicket away from her 100 ODI wickets milestone and she achieved it by dismissing Lisa Stalaker on 11 on that day it took her 5 years to reach that milestone from 96th wicket to the 100th wicket just like sachin tendulkar whom took ages to reach his uh, 100th century and he reached on that day only in dhaka nushin achieved her century of wickets milestone and bid adieu to cricket at wankhede sachin's home ground what a poetic coincidence these two legends have but at the end of one journey there was lying an opportunity for another glorious journey In an interview with Female Cricket, she said, "Just after I played my last match for India, I received a call from Vidya Yadav from Hyderabad. She asked me whether uh, I would like to take up the job of match referee or become a coach. I thought I was too young to be a match referee, so I decided to choose the latter." Just within 15 days of playing my last international game, I was back on the cricket field, this time as a coach. I took up the assignment of coaching Hyderabad girls teams of all age groups. I was with Hyderabad for 5 uh, years and during my stint we ended up as the first runners up on two occasions at the nationals. After Hyderabad she moved to Chhattisgarh. She was coaching there for two seasons 2017-18 and 2018-19. She further added the reason I took up the Chhattisgarh assignment was that I wanted to have the experience of coaching both an elite team as well as an upcoming team. I practically started from scratch with Chhattisgarh. In the later half of 2019, she joined Railways where she also played for a long time. Before she came, Railways were going through a trophy drought in the 2018-19 season where Delhi and Punjab won the two T20 titles and Bengal won the senior one day trophy. Since the day she joined, Railways once again became an invincible force. With Nushin, they came back on the winning track with the 2019 senior T20 trophy victory. And since the pandemic break in the last 2 years, They have won two one day titles last year and two T20 titles this year sweeping all the interstate domestic titles. She also coached the India A team in the last year's senior one day challengers trophy where they ended up winning the title. But her success as a coach has not just been limited to the domestic cricket. Earlier this year she coached Harmanpreet Kaur led the Supernovas team in the women's T20 challenge and helped them to secure the to- the trophy for the third time 
Right now Nushin is at the helm of coaching the under 19 team for the upcoming inaugural edition of the under 19 women's T20 World Cup in South Africa. She started coaching them in the quadrangular series that concluded in November. She was coaching India A who not only ended up being the champions but uh, also undefeated. The uh, Indian under 19 girls also played a five match preparatory T20 series against the New Zealand development side and thrashed them by an emphatic 5-0 margin. Uh, Nushin was also part of it and she has been retained as the head coach for the under 19 World Cup squad. The under 19 team are already off to South Africa to play their last preparatory five match T20 series against the hosts. So basically She won every tournament with the teams she coached this year in particular won two domestic T20 titles with Railways the last conducted women's T20 challenge with Supernovas before the women's IPL kicks off next year and two international under 19 series with the Indian team so as a coach she only lost one match this year which was the game between Supernovas versus Velocity in the women's t20 challenge wow what a legendary coaching career she is having and right now she must be eyeing to add another feather to her hat by lifting the first women's world cup for india by guiding the under 19 girls to conquer that elusive trophy so concluding the video with this trivia um, that we say great minds think alike So it's not a surprise that one of the greatest minds of the game Mithali Raj and Nushin Al Khadir share the best bond of being best friends. So that's it from my side. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.